a lot of people assume that travelers have arranged marriages has arranged dates has arranged like all these things no we don't Ooh, have arranged you pick who yeah. you want a relationship with <laughs> For this week's episode, we'll be discussing relationships, how we'd find our future husbands and the one. If you have any questions, comment them down below and we'll get back to you the best we can. When it comes to having a boyfriend, every traveler is different. We all have different sets of rules. But for us, I'm allowed a boyfriend, Caitlin's allowed a boyfriend. Don't have one, never had one. <laughs> but currently at the moment, we're both single. curfew you have to be back at a certain time you yeah. go and meet your boyfriend chances are your mommy knows about it like a lot of girls tell their mothers when they have a boyfriend your daddy don't but they don't tell their daddy until the boy is going in asking to marry the daughter offer them a ring you won't see a traveler on a dating app i've never seen or heard yeah. of a girl on a dating app obviously i don't know nothing about the boys but the girls yeah, we don't no. believe in that like Day, you know. The way in which like a boy and a girl will like meet each other would probably be at events, mm -hmm. by mutual friends, by Instagram, you know all the social media apps. Yeah. But it's mostly like events like you see them, you're just ooh. I would never DM a guy first. I would never walk up to a boy and be like, hi, I like you. No, that just does not happen. A girl never ever yeah. asks a boy Because they don't want to seem too available or desperate. Yeah, like, you just don't want to. Like, It's up to the, like, the boy to message yeah. and stuff. For me, my type is probably bluey or green eyes, um, taller than me. I don't, I don't get, get, like, care for, like, six foot ten or I just want them to be taller <laughs> than <laughs> six foot ten's height. <laughs> Personality, I don't want them too serious because I tend to joke a lot and I don't want them, I guess, wow, you hurt my feelings. I, I, I want someone like to joke and like banter back to me. I don't want someone who's obsessed with themselves. All right, so I know a lot of people are gonna come for me for this, but I have to say it. I honestly, I don't imagine, like, you know how people, like I've never been in a relationship, but have you ever seen people like pour and cry like, no, I love him so much, I wanna be with him. That is disgusting. I wouldn't do that. That's just imagine crying over someone. Like it's a different it's a different story if you're crying over like a love story, like, oh it's so sad they should be together. But imagine crying for a bum. Rotten. Cop yourself on, Jennifer. Was he really worth that much? Can't, could you find another one of him another three of him if you really want don't cry over him then. It's pathetic, you're making me vomit. My type I would have to say is um, brown hair, green to hazel eyes, um, tanned, tall, um, that's it like looks wise. Personality wise, I really like a sweetheart, you know, someone nice and caring, Ta arrogant people who think they're God's gift, no, stay away <laughs> from me. Um, so someone who's just like really like considerate and you know, all things like that. doesn't have to have permission from your family to go on a date with you yeah. obviously the girl will say yeah I'm allowed to go out with you and she'll tell her mommy to, and her mommy will say okay be back by this time go mm -hmm. to like go to the pictures and or, like if her father wants to know where she is she'll say oh she's out with friend. the girl this was a big thing on TikTok we did a video yeah, we did it, a joke it. video it was like about a complete it. joke today we're gonna reenact a grabbing for those of you who don't know what it means so when a boy really likes a girl, he'll go and grab her. This is what it should look like. And grab it. It's a gypsy way. Oh, don't grab me. Don't grab me. If a boy likes a girl, he'll go over and yeah. grab her, which essentially means he'll be like, oh, give me your number, give me a kiss, whatever that is. But people don't really yeah. do it anymore. They don't. The only people that do it are probably 12 to maybe yeah, 13 year old uh, boys and girls. Old. Yeah, boys. Nowadays, if that happened, it'll be like, oh my God, someone help me. And everyone's like, what are you doing? But I think now if a, a majority of the time, if a boy likes a girl, he'll message her on social media or like he'll go up to her, but grabbing just doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Next 
Netflix show Bridgerton is very similar to the traveling community, like beliefs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like there's some things that are like identical. <laughs> big deals out of events yeah. like weddings or parties and things like that and it's really like where you find your suitor you know what I mean like if you see someone yeah. the chances that it'll be at a party. A scandal is very big and it travels yeah. fast in our community. It can ruin a girl's reputation mm. you know people might not want to marry her or like message her or anything like that and like it can tarnish her like yeah, and like everyone will like just say stuff about getting, them. Yeah. With the traveling community, people like telling each other, Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? What about so that's hand? kind of like um Miss Whistletown, you know, like yeah, Miss newspaper thing. So it's similar. So you know in Bridgerton where they had dowries, we don't have that. Instead, the father of the bride will pay for the whole wedding. Yeah. Like every every part of it and the and the boy, the only thing he has to pay pay for is his suit and a stag night. That's yeah. it. Loads of people assume that travellers get married at a really, really young age. But honestly, it depends on like if that girl or if that boy falls in love at that age. Like we believe in not wasting time. Do you know what I mean? Like I know non-travelers they'll date someone for years and years. We don't believe in that. So say if you've got a boyfriend, you're in love with him. Maybe like you'll be together for a year, two years, and then you'll get married. I also think that we're very mature yeah. for our age, and that's why you see travelers getting married at seventeen or eighteen. So. For non-travellers, you're like, oh, you're still a kid at that time. No, yeah. like we we just have a mindset that's way yeah, like, like above. We grow up way before like we should, but that's just the way that our life is. And also, divorce rates are extremely low. Maybe one out of a thousand travellers. A wedding is a big thing to travellers and non-travellers. Like it's the, the it's a girl's mm -hmm. biggest day of her life. I feel like for travellers we like to go over the top, you know, have mm -hmm. the best of the best because chances are this will be our only wedding. Yeah. Big dress, big hair, big event. Yeah. So the bigger the dress the better, you know, big cakes, uh, fancy venues, you know, everything. For me, I'm not like really into the whole like princess yeah. vibes, big dress. I would go more simpler, like with a um, slim fit dress or something like that. I'm not sure I might change my mind. I like vintage style dresses, so it has to have a bit of lace places, you know? I definitely would love to go abroad for my wedding and just like have a lovely um, small beach wedding. Like Which is really common now, like loads of people are getting married abroad now. We don't know how our wedding's gonna pan out so whatever happens happens you know when you find the one you'll know and our plans change every day live by the motto of live your life until love is found so i'm not searching for love you know yeah i wouldn't go out of my way to be like oh i won't need to find someone right now and so if whatever happens you know what will be what will be so if my prince charming comes into my life tomorrow morning that's gonna happen i'm not gonna say no yeah not, you know what i mean if my harden comes through the door you know like okay harden scott we're gonna show you some outfits what we'd wear on some dates i got this outfit from quiz i love it i would wear it on a date to london like it's classy but also you know comfortable at the same time i would wear this outfit on a date to the zoo because it just has such tropical vibes these outfits give me dinner date vibes, something that I'd wear spring, summer time with a perfect red lip combo. I mean, you can't go wrong with a red lip. You're chatting to the boy for a while, like maybe two weeks, three weeks, a month. It depends on the girl. Mm -hmm. um, so then when you finally meet them, obviously the first few times when they ask me, you're going to say no. You know where you're going. He's going to pick you up or you're going to meet him. You're going to go out for a few hours, you know, get to know them. Depends on the person. Usually it's for food. Maybe the pictures, maybe bowling alley, maybe... They don't know what pictures is. They, they go to the cinema, not pictures. If you're more serious with your boyfriend, like, you yeah. go and meet other couples. Double you know, date. Double date. Day. You know, you'll be more exclusive, you know. Go to places, like, big events. Like, say, you'll go to Cambridge Fair with your boyfriend. If you're just dating someone, you're not really going to go to a big event with them because you don't want people to get the wrong idea. And I mean, if a girl did that with every date she went on, it'd seem like that she's got loads of boyfriends. She has a reputation, apparently. Um, because 
you would think other people would assume that's her boyfriend. So imagine every week she's got a different boyfriend and that's not really good for her reputation. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. I hope you're enjoying learning about our life. Yeah, trying to get rid of the myths and so you know the truth. Yeah. Stay tuned because next week we'll be talking about our wardrobe, what we like to wear to events. If you're interested, if you don't want to know yeah. more about us, like don't forget to comment down below.